So our research project focuses on what we're calling the upstream determinants of the COVID response in India. And by upstream determinants, we mean we're really interested in looking at the institutions, organizations, politics, and governance factors that impacted how states in India, and in particular, the state of Tamil Nadu, responded to the pandemic. Um, we're focusing primarily on the first wave and the second wave. And uh, we're also doing a comparison with the state of Maharashtra. Uh, and that study is being done by uh, the Indian Institute of Technology in Bombay. So this research project really uh, was directly influenced by the fact that we were living through the pandemic, uh, especially in countries like India, very similar to Canada. There's a lot of sub-national variation in how uh, states or provinces go about or went about responding to the crisis, particularly in those first in the first couple of years, in the first two years. And so we were very interested in understanding what that subnational variation looked like. And we also wanted to understand what do states like Tamil Nadu, which are typically seen as high capacity, what did they do specifically when faced with a crisis like this? Because we think that there are a lot of learnings from, prod from experiences like that. Uh, part of the issue that we find in public health more broadly is that there's less research typically on these upstream determinants around, say, decision making and, and the politics of decision making. And we saw during COVID just how important those the, those ideas are to our have to us having a comprehensive understanding of how we as a, as a society respond to the pandemic. And so we felt that this was a really important area of research, which is surprisingly not getting the attention that we that one would imagine it would the sort of interdisciplinary thinking around how states respond or or how jurisdictions respond to uh, a crisis so the research uh, focuses on trying to understand these factors of institutions politics organizations and governance as they pertain to how the state of Tamil Nadu responded to COVID. And in order to collect that data, we primarily have, um, have drawn upon qualitative data through in-depth interviews with uh, individuals in government, individuals in, um, in civil society, and in the media. We have also used some documentary analysis by uh, analyzing about 160 policy documents um, and, and laws and regulations and other sorts of directives. And we have also done a media analysis to look at what the media uh, covered regarding these issues. Um, and we have about 150 uh, pieces for that. And those kind of serve as the main pillars of our data for the project. This collaboration stemmed from partnership with um, in the Indian Institute of Technology, Madras, which is in Chennai, India. I've known researchers at IITM for some time. And when the opportunity presented itself to think about doing a case study in Tamil Nadu, I reached out to colleagues at IITM and they expressed interest in, in exploring this idea. And so we started talking about it and decided to proceed because it didn't look like there were that there were other teams looking at this question. And, and so there was a bit of a gap in, in, the, in the literature on this topic. And our comparison with uh, the state of Maharashtra really stemmed from a partnership with the Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, in Mumbai, India, that uh, Peter Berman and colleagues at UBC had been developing over some time. And so the opportunity presented itself to, to work together in this way. I think our main goal in this collaboration is to, um, of course, conduct a very high quality research study. But I think our, our goal is also to make sure that our research is actionable, that it is leading to some very concrete policy implications. We're lucky to have a former uh, a bureaucrat, a, a former member of the Indian Administrative Services on our team as the co-lead of the project. 
And so we really feel very fortunate that we have that that insight from our colleague, Dr. Girija Vaidyanathan, to help us understand how to make our findings the most uh, sort of accessible that, that they can be in order to uh, to generate this sort of attention from decision makers um, and and to and to make sure that the research is used going forward. I think the dialogue session was a really interesting opportunity to hear from our colleagues in Maharashtra regarding the findings that they have developed over the course of the past year and where there are similarities between the experiences of Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra and where there are differences and, and why those differences exist and what can we learn from that. So I think it was an incredibly useful opportunity to hear from our colleagues and to consider those findings as we develop our research findings. And I think there will be future opportunities just based on our conversation yesterday to continue that dialogue, uh, whether virtually or, or in India, and to also think about how we can involve other universities and other stakeholders in India, potentially doing similar kinds of research in different states. So to have to kind of expand the dialogue out to other collaborators in India or other scholars in India and see what lessons we can find uh, beyond these two states. <laughs>